Hi there folks and welcome back to another One Stop Trivia Short Round. My name is Sean, I'll be your quiz host as usual. Hope you are still enjoying the quizzes we're putting out and still enjoying making them for you. If you've got any comments or any feedback, please feel free to leave it in the comment section down below and we'll make sure that we see it and uh, when we get back to you if need be. Uh, if you have any uh, suggestions for rounds that you'd like to see, drop, a, drop us a message as well. Uh, we'll be happy to see what we can do for you. So, today's one-stop uh, one trivia short round is called The French Connection. So whilst it's not about the movie, it's all about France. Uh, so we'll test your knowledge on that most Gallic of countries. That was Gallic, not garlic. Although I believe that they do like a bit of garlic as well. Nothing like some uh, cheap stereotypes, eh? Jeez. Okay, so we shall get on with the questions then. So. Uh, as usual, 10 questions, 10 answers, bish bash bosh. So question number one, here we go. Uh, in the, which city would you have found the Bastille, the storming of which during the revolution is remembered on July 14th or Bastille Day in France? Okay, so yeah, again, in which city would you have found the Bastille? The storming of which during the revolution is remembered on July 14th or Bastille Day in France. Okay, question number two. What is the French equivalent of the Oscars awards for movies? Okay, so uh, not, not everyone follows the Oscars. The French have got their own version of them. So what is the French equivalent of the Oscars called? Question number three. What is the name of the French national anthem? Okay, so what is the name of the French national anthem? For some reason, I, I learned the French national anthem when I was in school, age nine. I can still remember most of it to this day. I never sing it, but yeah, nice to know. Question number four. Uh, which French president formally opened the Channel Tunnel with Queen Elizabeth II? Okay, so which fr uh, French president formally opened the Channel Tunnel with Queen Elizabeth II? So obviously it would, uh, might be useful if you know what year the Channel Tunnel was opened. I'll tell you what, we'll give you, we'll give you a point if you can get the year as well. How's that? So, doing, doing, doing a bit of winging it here, but, so which French president formally opened the Channel Tunnel with Queen Elizabeth II? And I'll give a bonus point if you can tell me the year. Okay, question number five. What is the second largest city in France after Paris? Okay, so, the second largest city in France after Paris. Okay, question number six. Why did Hamida Jandoubi unfortunately become famous on the 10th of September 1977? Okay, so I think she's more famous after the fact, but you know, why did Hamida Jandoubi unfortunately become famous on the 10th of September 1977? Okay, question number seven. Who was the last queen of France prior to the French Revolution? Okay, so obviously not, not so many kings and queens after the revolution. So who was the last queen of France prior to the French Revolution. Question number eight. Over, so how many time zones do France and its territory, uh, territories cover? So obviously France isn't just the, the country of France, you know, in, in Europe. It's also got overseas territories and uh, zones and whatnot. So essentially how many time zones do France and its territories cover? Is it A, 10, B, 12, or C, 14? Okay, so 10, 12, or 14. Question number nine. 
Which country did France beat to win the World Cup in France in 1998? Again, I always, always forget to specify in the question, but we're talking about uh, men's soccer or football here. So, which country did France beat to win the World Cup in France in 1998? And question number 10, Moulin Rouge is a Parisian cabaret and is the home of the modern can-can. Uh, what does Moulin Rouge mean in English? Okay, so Moulin Rouge, like it, like in the movie, but it's, it, it was a, re a real life thing. It was the, it's a Parisian cabaret uh, and it's, it's basically where, where the, uh, the modern can-can dance was born. It's where it started. So what does Moulin Rouge mean in English? Okay, so that is the end of the questions. I uh, hope you've got all your answers. If not, you pause the video, take, take your time, uh, give it a wee rewind if you need to go back over any of the questions. It's all for fun, it doesn't matter if you take your time. Okay, so we will get on to the answers in a second, but uh, I'll just do my usual spiel again. Uh, so up in the top left you'll see a URL called kidsneededucation.org uh, So that is for a charity based here in Phnom Penh in Cambodia. Uh, it basically provides the only free primary school uh, in the whole of the city. Um, all the schools here are fee paying of some kind or other and a lot of people just cannot afford to send their children to school. Um, so kidsneededucation.org, uh, they, they, prov they provide a school that's free to the children, it provides everything for the children as well, so up to and including things like uniforms and books and whatnot. Uh, it's obviously a very worthwhile cause, um, you know, giving children a chance at an education that they wouldn't normally be able to get. Uh, so if, for any, if by any chance you're able to make even just a very small donation, you know, a pound or a dollar or whatever you've got, if you, you can make a donation via the website there. Uh, it all goes uh, into the charity and it um, all goes a very long way over here. Um, so yeah, if you're able to do that, it's very much appreciated. And the other URL that you'll see at the top right is onestoptrivia.com. That is the website for the quiz for One Stop Trivia. Uh, so you know, give it a wee look if you want to see any of our past quizzes. We're also on Facebook at facebook.com slash onestoptrivia and on the YouTube channel that you're probably watching us on at the moment. Uh, please give us a like, a subscribe, all goes a long way. Uh, give us a share, even better. And yeah, drop, drop us a comment. Any feedback you've got, we're always happy to see it. Okay, so we shall get on with the answers then. Uh, I'm sure that's what you're all waiting for. So, question number one. In which city would you have found the Bastille, the storming of which during the revolution is remembered on, the, on July 14th, or Bastille Day, in France? Well, you'd find the Bastille in Paris. Fairly simple, that one. So, Bastille was in Paris. Question number two. What is the French equivalent of the Oscars Awards for movies? Well, the French equivalent is the Caesars, or possibly if you're using the French accent, the Césars. But uh, the Caesars we'll go with. Um, that's all there is for that. Question number three, what is the name of the French national anthem? Well, that is La Marseillaise. La Marseillaise. Uh, very sort of bloody revolutionary tune. Quite moving. Question number four. Which French president formally opened the Channel Tunnel with Queen Elizabeth? And as I say, we'll give you a bonus point if you're able to get the year. So it was Francois Mitterrand, and it was in 1994. So possible two points available there. Francois Mitterrand and 1994. Question number five. What is the second largest city in France after Paris? That is Marseille. Marseille. Question number six. Why did Hamida Jandoubi unfortunately become famous on 10th of September 1977? They were the last person to be executed in France by guillotine. Okay, so you know you think you think of you know the guillotine executions as like going back into the old days like the French Revolution, but they're actually going on up until the late 70s. Um, this, this one happened after the first Star Wars movie came out. That, that's how you know, close it is to where we are. Okay, question number seven. 
who was the last Queen of France prior to the French Revolution? Well, that was Marie Antoinette. You know, famous for saying, let them eat cake. Well, that may be a mistranslation. I think there's a, some belief that it's saying they let them eat brioche, which is bread. But anyway, Marie Antoinette. Question number eight, how many time zones do France and its territories cover? Is it 10, 12, or 14? The answer is 12. It's pretty fast, it's pretty well spread out. Okay, so you've obviously got France, you've got, um, you've got French Guyana down in uh, South America there as well. So French Guyana is the only uh, country on the mainland Americas that is still a uh, colony of, a Euro of basically of another country. Interesting fact for you if you find that sort of thing interesting. Question number nine. Which country did France beat to win in uh, win the World Cup in France in 1998? As I say, in men's football or soccer? Well, they beat Brazil. Okay, so they beat Brazil. And question number ten. Moulin Rouge is a Parisian cabaret uh, and the home of the modern can-can. What does Moulin Rouge mean in English? Well, it is Red Mill. The Red Mill. I'll accept windmill if you got that, but it was the red mill. Okay, so that's the end of the quiz. Um, thank you very much for taking part. Please you know, give the video a like, give us a share, uh, give us a subscribe on the YouTube channel so you can keep up to date on videos as and when they come out. We're trying to do about one a day. A short quiz uh, Monday through Saturday and a big quiz on a Sunday, 60-odd uh, questions. Uh, all these videos are on the YouTube channel to view uh, for the previous you know, couple of months since we've been started. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it and uh, basically until the next quiz, thank you very much and goodbye.